cool thing for me is... That looks delicious. ...being able to hear little things from a, uh, a sensory perception. I have one of my senses back. I learned how to swim before I learned how to walk. I, I was nine months old when I learned how to swim. I grew up in Florida, so water is part of the fabric of who I am as a person. I think the Olympic dream started to be born with me my senior year in high school. I won our state championship. I started kind of thinking, wow, this is something that I can really excel at, not only from a high school level, but on a national level. I won three gold medals. I won the 100 freestyle, and I was on two relays that won gold medals as well, the 400 freestyle relay and the 400 medley relay. When I got done with the Olympics, ESPN, that nobody had ever heard of, called me and asked me to do the commentating on Battle of the Network Stars. And then I got invited to do the triple cast back in 1992 at the Olympic Games from NBC. I called every single one of the greatest swimmer in history, Michael Phelps' races throughout his Olympic career. If you could open the package of the burgers. Uh -huh. My <laughs> wife's name is Judy, and we've been married over 30 years. She deals with all my idiosyncrasies, but uh, certainly hearing has been one that's been tough on her and tough on my family. Frustrating, <laughs> annoyed like he wasn't listening, or I thought maybe he was intentionally just not listening to me at times, too. Over the last 10 years, specifically, that hearing loss affected my life, not only at home, but also affected my life from a business standpoint. I was having issues sitting in on meetings, and uh, I would always have to sit in the front row. I had tremendous anxiety when I did go into these production meetings because I knew that I had to be on the entire time. But I was embarrassed, and I didn't want people to think that I was losing my hearing. I have this Olympic gold medalist macho thing going on, and uh, I faked it a long time. The day that he got the Ergo hearing aids in the mail, he said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I was like, what, what, what's wrong? And he said, I can hear. I think the biggest improvements for me have certainly been in that setting uh, at home with my wife. We can now have a normal conversation. And 81, zero is perfect. That's yeah, perfect. Everybody. I can differentiate specific things when I'm on the pool deck now, talking oh to God. swim coaches or talking to an athlete or talking to somebody at work. It doesn't just change his life, it changes the quality of our relationship, especially because we spend the most time together, but with our children. The biggest reason was uh, my family. I kind of thought, well, maybe I can be an example for others. You got to bury the ego. You got to do what's best for the quality of your life. Ergo, hear life to the fullest.